Aloha, everybody. I trust that you're doing well. Happy, happy, happy new year. Oh my goodness, we are already in 2022. Greetings from Nairobi. I'm so, so, so excited. I mean, there's always something exciting on something new. When you have something new, think about when you have new clothes, you have a new phone, you have a new something, you know, a new relationship i mean it's exciting right so i'm excited and i know that you are too and uh today is first of january 2022 so so this is like gonna be my very very first uh vlog uh for 2022 and i'm excited and i'm so happy to share it with you please let me know where you're uh, checking in from where you're watching from and how is 2022 for you and today I just want to take a few moments of your time and just share some of the key lessons I learned in 2021 because let me tell you even if you failed in something but you got the lesson you are winning <laughs> you're making it <laughs> I say I usually say you're making it in this game called life yeah so pick the lessons even if you did not win yeah and if you can still win and pick the lessons oh, that's wonderful that's what we want okay so my three biggest lessons in 2021 and the first was that first of all it's not about how powerful you start but how powerful you stay because at the beginning of something even now at the beginning of 2022 you have goals and dreams and resolutions and things that you want to do for 2022 and most of the time maybe you want to lose weight maybe you want to um eat healthier maybe you want to make more money whatever goal it is it is valid and it is good pursue it but um, I know most of us we will start great. Some of us have a lot of energy to start, you know. Yeah, it's all this vibe about oh, new year, new goals, <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> what else do you say? Yeah, and uh, even now, you know, I have my goals like today, I have done everything, like I said, I'll do your because I'm high, high spirit. And maintaining that sometimes is not always easy. And it's not about how you start, it's about how you stay, it's about your state power it's about your staying power and for me in 2021 I had so many things I wanted to do by the way <laughs> and uh, I'm a life coach I'm a corporate speaker and trainer and I usually help people be able to live more purposeful lives and accomplish their goals and dreams but I also find myself even as a coach also struggling and I also have to keep somebody I have to get a coach for myself so that I keep um, you know so as somebody who can make sure that my goals remain my priority priority so for me one of the biggest biggest lessons i learned is that it's not how about how powerful you start it's how powerful you stay the power of routine and for me routine you know routine is so important the routine is what really builds you if you really want to grow in something you need to build a routine on it if you want to become a better reader you need to have a routine for reading if it's like in the morning you read 30 minutes you need to keep that routine otherwise you will drop that goal you will drop if it's about saving you want to be saving like ten dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month or hundred thousand dollars a month i mean whatever amount that you want to be saving you need to make sure you need to make sure that you keep a routine if you don't have a routine it's not working it's not happening and uh <laughs> we'll find ourselves at the end of 2022 with nothing we started great bit but we never stayed yeah so um for me that was my first first greatest lesson that um it's not about how powerful you start it's about how powerful you stay there because i mean uh we usually say uh even the word of god says that the end of a matter is better than the beginning the end of a matter is better than the beginning. And I think that's why it's very important. What's make it better, by the way? It's the process you have taken for you to get there, for you to get at the end, yeah? And to get the, the process you've taken, you, you, you may not be able to do it alone. <laughs> Sometimes you need a little help. That's why it's important you have a coach. That's why it's important you have a mentor. That's why it's important you have an accountability partner, somebody who can push you to be at your absolute end best you know sometimes you may not be at your absolute best all the time but you can try when you have somebody who is always pushing you number two my biggest lesson my second biggest lesson for 2022 was that life moves on like seriously i know like that sounds like yeah of course life moves on but um, i mean it in this sense you know we had a very um you know 
you know we are very hard time in 2020 i mean covid was really unexpected and i mean it was it grew many of us many businesses many people you know into chaos and you have to purpose repurpose plan replan refocus recast your vision again restrategize i mean it was just chaos and it's easy to just give yourself a pass and say oh you know we still have covid now we have omicron we see we are still in the covid season or oh, the business is not not doing well because you know it's a covid season let me tell you, life goes on and we procrastinate life because oh there's a global pandemic or there's this or that and give ourselves excuses as long as you're giving excuses you're not performing you're not performing and whatever it is you want to achieve you will never achieve it because complaining you know you, you, you see when you're complaining you're actually giving your right to be to change <laughs> so you're working against yourself you're sabotaging yourself so life moves on it doesn't matter what has happened and by the way when we say oh business has not been doing well oh i can sit in the house after how many people are in the house let me tell you people are raking in millions in your currency <laughs> in your currency they are raking in me millions when you think there's a crisis the important thing is to know how do i adapt how do i take advantage of this crisis or whatever is happening or how do i repurpose my business i mean or, or how do i really re-strategize so that I, I remain relevant in the market and and in the prevailing <laughs> situation yeah so it's very important life life moves on and time does not wait for you time does not wait for you to uh until you accomplish or you do whatever it is that you want to time the clock is still ticking the clock is still ticking every day so that's why it's um very important for you um to really you know to to, to not give yourself a pass don't give yourself a pass. Sometimes you may say, oh, I'm not feeling well, so I'll not go for the workout. I'll not go to work today. I mean, I remember when I was in employment. Today, I, I have my own business uh, in the training industry. And, um, you know, I, I used to look for every opportunity. If I got sick just a little bit, <laughs> if I got sick just a little bit, it, for me, it would be an opportunity. I'm not feeling well, I can't come to work. You know, and you see, always giving, always looking for the smallest opportunity to give yourself a pass, and that's how you end up with with two things at the end of the day, little or nothing. When it comes to your goals, you end up with little or nothing, and then you keep on wondering why, what, what is happening? I'm not achieving my goals. Let me tell you, stop giving yourself a pass. Life is moving on. Life moves on. It doesn't matter what has happened in your life, no matter how grievous it has been. And I know sometimes we, you know, we, we have gone through grief during this period because some of us maybe have lost uh, loved ones in different ways or you just gone through a loss and it's really hard. So, I mean, it's good to take time and re retrospect and really see um, um, what you need to do at the moment. It's good to take such time. It's not a waste of time. It's good to uh, take time and ask yourself what is working and what is not working. It is good to actually do that. But you, you know, you cannot sit somewhere for a long time just grieving and grieving and uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, there's this no one, <laughs> I usually say no one is coming to your rescue. And, and even as we love you, we want to come and encourage you and and all that at some point you have to wake up and take charge at some point you have to wake up and take charge so it's very important for you um, to actually decide that you know what I will not be I will not cry again oh my god I'm so sorry I'm, some messages that are coming in ah, okay good yes sometimes you have to just decide that um, you know what I'm gonna wake up I'm gonna rise from this pain and I will rise and I will thrive. You know that moment when you are crying but you can hope. Let me tell you, you can rise from any situation and you can, um, you know, thrive. You can rise and you can thrive. And for me, that is what I want. And I just need you to know, it doesn't matter whether you're grieving or whatever you're doing. Life is moving on. Take care of you. That's important. But life moves on. And stop giving yourself a pass. Stop procrastinate <laughs> stop procrastinating you don't want to wake up at 40 you wake up at 30 you wake up at 50 to ask yourself what have i been doing with my life and i get many people by the way as a coach i do uh pre-retirement trainings 
pre-retirement trainings and many people you know they do this uh, many agencies they do government agencies they do this kind of trainings uh when someone is about just a year before somebody retires and that is the time when you'll find somebody say, somebody saying oh you know uh for me now in my 59th year this is when i want to start living and you can see the kind of passion they have you wonder so what does someone be doing have they not been living for the last 60 years of their life <laughs> i mean life moves on please life move. please rise up from that couch rise up from that from your bed rise up stop that stop with that attitude and that lazy attitude you've been carrying you know you know and the life moves on move with it okay number three and last one and this is huge this was like very deep for me and <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see how it goes no matter how good you are you will never be right for the wrong person let me say that again no matter how good you are you'll never be right for the wrong person and at your absolute best you still won't be good enough for the wrong person and I think for me, this was huge. And it has taken me a long time to learn this, like a, about two years or so. It has taken me really, um, you know, long to learn this. At your absolute best, you still won't be good enough for the wrong person. At your worst, you will still be worth it to the right person. These are some of the things that, you know, I have I've learned and, you know, you realize this when you are in relationships, whether it's a love relationship or it's just a friend, a video relationship, you know, with, with friends and people. And you find yourself trying too hard, trying too hard, you know, as if you're to please somebody, trying too hard, you know, and, and somebody you know they're just determined to make your life they're just determined to hurt you they are determined and uh you know i think that's how they do that's how they live life hurting people and so i think it's very important for you to be able to know uh for me i think this the far i can go in this relationship with this person or this i can't take this it's very important to know what you deserve i always say when you know who you are first of all knowing who you are you know what you deserve let me say that again. When you know who you are, you know what you deserve. Otherwise, you live below your privileges and people abuse you, you know? For me, I think this is, I think for me, this was actually the biggest, biggest, biggest lesson I learned. It was about relationships and, um, and engaging with people. And I work with people, for me, I work with people in many organizations that I'm part of, my own companies and all that. And sometimes you find you're just being too good to a person. You're being too good, you're like an angel. To this person even when they don't deserve you know there are people who do to you unforgivable things unforgivable they tell you they tell you un, un, unforgivable things they speak to you in a manner you wouldn't want even your enemy to be spoken to because you wouldn't w want to hear anyone <laughs> you know being spoken to like that it's it's just bad yeah but you're still good to the person and i i think for me you're still good to the person you're still very kind to the person but the person they're just determined <laughs> the, the the kinder you are then the more um they hurt you the more they take advantage of that to hurt you and to lie to you you know so there are people like that when you work with people and for me as a leader also i have learned to be very open when i meet people and i'm working with new people i've learned to be very open to listen to people and also watch people and learn people also from a distance but i think for me that was the biggest but uh, no matter how good you are, you will never be right for the wrong people. There are people who just never see good in you. And maybe they're not supposed to see because they're not people who should be in your life. There are other people who should be in your life. And I think it is just God telling you that this is not the person. You need to get away from this person. And this there is just God revealing their character and who they are, you know. And, and because, you know, but if they treat you like that, someone is just, they just hurt you. They just, everything they tell you is a lie. There's nothing, they will, everything they promise is a lie, you know. And you wonder why you're, st you're still with a person, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, there are people who know how to take advantage of people's kindness. Yeah, so I think it's it's very important that you know how to say, 
uh, how to to really uh, determine what you deserve and decide enough is enough and uh, you know I- I'm done being kind and and you move on i think for me that's very very important that i learned that <laughs> i learned that i think the very very hard way but i thank god at least now i'm i'm, I'm good i thank god i'm good and <laughs> please let me know uh, if you have dealt with those kind of people <laughs> or for you what's the biggest lesson you learned in 2021 for me those were some of the biggest lessons i learned in 2021 and many others you know but i think those are the key, three key things. Yeah, those are the three key ones. So thank you so much. Happy, happy, happy new year. And please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get to know when I post. I want to engage with you. I want to interact with you. Thank you so much.